welcome to Midford Pottery. A little thrown video for us today. Um, you sort of got to think ahead a little bit in pottery, which I tend not to do. Um, but we'll be having an Easter show at the National Glass Centre. When this, it'll soon be up on us. So I'm thinking something Easter related, and I'm thinking plant pots and uh, John Smith, John the Potter, inspired a uh, plant pot with integral water tray, so it's all thrown in one. Uh, so I've done some bigger ones in the past, but this we're going to try and do some more dainty ones. So these are 450 grams of ES5 uh, white stoneware. So we'll get on the pottery wheel, get our camera, you will have to excuse the buzzy noise in the background because it's freezing our air and that's the heater. So I do apologise. I'll switch it off in a bit. So 450 grams. Got it. We're going to do it on a bat because we're not going to take them off till they're dry. We're going to do three. And we're just going to free form them. So no, they'll be similar but different, as always. Excuse my head in the way of the camera. I need to move my foot pedal a bit. That's it. Right. So let's get cracking. So same as always. Wet hands. Wet clear. Squash it on to the bat. Tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to put uh, one of my rub me foam rests back on. So I find it just a bit more comfortable than the cold plastic. Now that'll do us. Right, let's go. So we're stuck on like that. Water on, we'll make a cone. So we squash our clay together. Not used to throwing with this clay, it's a lot softer than at our sister studio where we use the slightly cheaper school buff. This is a bit more pliable. So cone it up centre it down so we oh I'll see if I can do so I wouldn't show you how it actually works we'll see if I can do it one handed eh so we we'll bend the clay over and we push it down and it's this hand here that centres it so that braces against there and that is what centres the clay and as always, if it's not quite centred, apply a little bit of pressure. And take our hands off nice. That's it. So, we'll slow our wheel now. So this shape, we split the clear. So first of all, we're going to split in here so this is going to be our tray and then we're going to throw this bit so that's going to be become our tray actually it might uh, just compact that a little bit so that we don't get any water underneath So now we're going to break in into the middle. So we'll push our thumb in. About there, that's fine. And then we open that out. I say these are going to be relatively dainty pots. 
so they don't need to be overly complicated. And we're going to square that bottom off with our fingernails. That's nice. That's it. Now this is the awkward bit on these because normally We'll slow it down a little bit. So normally your outside fingers are lower than your inside fingers but because we've already split the clear they're both at the same height which is not what we want so when you're throwing which I'll throw in this way oh yeah we'll do, we'll do this way. So I've got to get my inside one to go first to get a little head start And we throw it up like that. I say that's because the outside and the inside base is the same height. So, so we'll do another one. So we push in, get that clear. Lift it up like that. Lovely. Get rid of our inside. That's it. And we will try one of our new tools we've invested in, which is a. I'm not sure what the make is of these. Uh, is it? Why is it on here? I've got my glasses on. Mud tools. Mud tools. Throwing tools. Apparently, they're really good. So what I want to do, I'm just going to slowly, I'm just going to compress, I'm going to make that a little bit more of an angle, and I'm just going to smooth the outside and the inside, just pushing against the rib, all the way at the top makes it nice, and then I'm going to just flatten this we use the sharper corner it's got lots of different uh, angles and corners on that that's why they that's why people like them so you've got a sharper corner there a bit of a curve not so much of a corner wider so they're quite practical but take like everything you've got to get used to them so what I'm going to do I'm just going to flatten that because that's going to be our inside tray make that quite wide so now we've got that what we want to do we're going to put our drain holes in and then we're going to bend that up so we'll get the water out the middle get our water out we stop it we need a hole cutter Which size we're we going for? What size have we got? Yeah, we'll go for that one. So, sort of, what's that? About five, five centimeters. So the other one's a bit too small, and the other ones are a bit too big. You can use just a drill bit if you want, but I've got these. So, so what we want to do in front of us. We want to cut our drain hole in, so we're going to go to the bottom of there. And remember, the clay is very soft, so we will twist it as we go so it cuts. And then we'll bring that back out so you get the little plug of clay. We get that out of the way. And then we'll do three, so we'll do about there. And then we'll turn that as we push. Bring that out, so there's the other plug. Try and get them out of the way. And one more to give us three drain holes. So we push that in. Then we twist as we push, bring that out, get that out of the way. 
So now we've got three drain holes in and this is the bit where we'll get rid of some of our water off our bat because it's going to stop on the bat. So what we do need, we'll get our, let our chamois leather soak a little bit of water in and we'll do this. So, dead easy, we will use, again, we'll use our mud tools. So we're going to use that, all we're going to do is curve that end, that edge up. So I'm going to, I need to go a bit slower than that actually. So nice and slow, so we're just going to keep our finger there and then we're going to push against our finger, lift that up so we can get to it and then we can finish off with our hands. So we're just going to do a tiny little push and lift just like that and then it's a case of uh, just fine tuning it just to make it deep enough to hold a little bit of water, make it look nice. So we got that. We'll finish our top edge off with our chamois. So we do that. Now if we can, we want to finish this edge off as well, which is a bit more fiddly. Because it's way down here. Like that, that's that, then I've just done a video on throwing sticks and I haven't got any, where's mine, there it's there, I'll just clean it off a bit, so we use our trusty throwing stick, we'll just do a little undercut in here, Ever so slight, just takes a little bit of clay off. That helps us get the wire underneath. So we've got our trusty twisted cut off wire. We'll get some of this moisture and water out of the way. Slow our way right down. Dead slow. Twist the cut off wire under there, press down, keep the wire taut, bring it towards us. So it goes around about one revolution as it comes out the other side. Stop our wheel, and that is it. So we'll, uh, I'll just dry my hands and we'll zoom the camera in so you can see. We'll take it off the tripod. Hopefully, not make you too dizzy. So that's so that's it. So let's like say it's a dainty little teapot for a little plant, nice for the house. So there's our holes. There's our tray. And that's what it looks like inside. To be tidied up, all them little few little raggy edges, but not too bad at all. So that's it. So we'll get you back on the tripod, like that, turn that round so I can see what's happening, get it back on my ugly mug, so there you go, I'm going to do uh, a few more, so try and do some, it's a little bit of a different technique, thanks to John the Potter, um, and hopefully we'll get a few ready for Easter, and then it's down to glazing which I hope to do a video on very soon. So, clears the way. See you in another video very soon. Bye for now. Enjoy your pottery. <laughs>